Specialist and Master Degrees Commencement for Emporia State University. Please rise for our national anthem sung by Dr. Dennis Bassett. Please be seated. I'm Gwen Alexander, Interim Provost and Vice President of Academic Affairs. It is my pleasure to introduce members of the platform party. Please hold your applause until everyone has been recognized. And I'll begin on my right with introducing Professor Amy Sage Webb, the 2012 R Row R. Cross Distinguished Professor. Dr. Michael Shonra, President of Murray State University. The Honorable Mildred Edwards, Regents Representative. Dean Kathy Ermler, Graduate School in Distance Education. Interim Dean Andrew Smith, School of Library and Information Management. Interim Dean John Rich, School of Business. Dean Kenneth Weaver, College, I mean, sorry, Teachers College. Dean Marie Miller, College of Liberal Arts and Sciences. Shelley, Dr. Shelley Durkee, Interim Assistant Provost. Dr. James Williams, Vice President for Student Affairs. 
Mr. Ray Howe, Vice President for Administra Administration and Physical Affairs, Dr. Kevin, Kevin Robbins, President of the Faculty, and Dr. Kathy Grover, Associate Professor of Psychology. It is now my pleasure to introduce the President of Emporia State University, Dr. Michael D. Schonrock. President Schonrock will officially welcome you on behalf of our university and introduce our distinguished guests. Good afternoon. I know we can do better. Good afternoon. There we are. It's a great day to be a Hornet. Regent Edwards, honored guests, faculty, family members, members of the graduating class, it is my pleasure and privilege to welcome you to the 2012 Winter Doctoral Specialist and Master's Degree Commencement at Emporia State University. As we come together today to celebrate the accomplishments of these students, we also take time to remember students, both past and present, we have lost. The chair, draped in a hood, stands in tribute and remembrance of these individuals. Graduates, on behalf of the faculty and administration, I extend our congratulations to you. We are proud of your accomplishments, and we look forward to your future achievements as you enter graduate and other opportunities in your careers. You are the most important group here today, and we welcome and congratulate your accomplishments and honor you today. There are a number of people who helped you as you reach this goal, and it's appropriate that we recognize them at this time. First, would the parents of the graduates please stand to be recognized? Parents. I know you're smiling, they're smiling even more. In addition to the parents, many graduates have spouses and children who have sacrificed for you to reach this goal. Would the spouses and children of the graduates please stand to be recognized? And many of you have grandparents, sisters, brothers, aunts, uncles, cousins, and significant others who have assisted you over the years. Would they please to also be recognized? <laughs> to all of you, thank you for your support and guidance, which is not only appreciated by the graduates today, but also by this university community. I'd also like to take this opportunity to recognize and thank those of you who are graduating this afternoon who have served in some capacity with the armed forces. We so thank you for your service to the community and to our country. Let's give them a round of applause. It is now my privilege to introduce to you the representative from the Kansas Board of Regents, Regent Mildred Edwards. Regent Edwards was appointed to the Board of Regents in 2010. She is the Executive Director of the Kansas African American Affairs Commission in Topeka. Regent Edwards earned her bachelor's, master's, and doctoral degrees from Wichita State University. Please join me in welcoming Regent Edwards, who will bring greetings from our board. Regent? President Sean Roth, members of the faculty and staff of Emporia State University, alumni, friends, and family, welcome. Each of you recognize the value of higher education and have made today a reality. Whether you're a parent, a husband or wife, a family member, alum, or faculty member, or staff, you each have played a very important role in helping these graduates to reach this milestone. And don't worry, I haven't forgotten you graduates. Your dedication to the pursuit of knowledge has led you to this moment in your life. The Board of Regents may not be the most well-known group in helping you and your fellow graduates to succeed, 
but we are your best advocates in promoting the value of the accomplishment we have gathered here today to celebrate. One of the greatest pleasures of my position is participating in commencement ceremonies. It is a time that I get to look upon the future of our state and our nation. And what does the future hold? I can't predict the future with any greater accuracy than you, but I can provide some tips that may serve you as you embark upon the next chapter of your lives. Be mindful. In order for our nation and our world to prosper, it is imperative that each individual be conscious of their impact on the world and their fellow man. Open yourselves up to the reality of, your, of our interconnectedness and be vigilant in protecting your prosperity without adversely impacting the prosperity of another. Don't just do, do with purpose. Engage and be present in your world every day. Each of us must engage in the issues facing our world today. By collectively engaging, we will thrive. It is equally important to be actively engaged in the small world that we call home, whether that's a family, your local community, or a community of friends. Creating lasting bonds requires that each of us put forth effort, enthusiasm, and commitment. Always show up with plenty of these items and you'll discover amazing people and create bonds that span both time and distance. Live each and every day. Too frequently, people count the bad days and let the good ones just slip by unnoticed. Every day is special and presents opportunities for us to, to discover and learn about ourselves and the world around us. Yes, even the bad days. I have found that much of life is perspective, so I encourage you to wake up each morning with a light heart and a sense of wonder. Invest in yourself. You are the constant in your world and the only thing you have any control over. Always strive to make the most of your talents, dreams, and gifts. Nurture them so that you may give up yourself and play an active role in shaping your future. Evolve. One of the secrets to success and happiness is embracing the evolution you will go through during your life. Change doesn't have to be scary. The world changes seemingly in the blink of an eye. I would not have imagined the everyday common things we use today, the cell phone, the internet as two examples, and the impact that they would have had on my life and my professional life when I graduated with my first degree. You too will see big changes in your lives and the best advice I can offer is for you to embrace it. As you evolve, your future as you envision it at this moment will change and new doors will open. Value yourself. The greatest loss an individual can suffer is the loss of self. Always remember that you matter. Instead of looking to external sources of value like money, prestige, or fame, come to terms with the concept that your life, talents, and skills are valuable to others only if you value yourself first. And finally, enjoy the ride. Life is what you make of it. Make yours count. On behalf of the Kansas Board of Regents and Chairman Tim Emmert, graduates, as you prepare to enter the world, I hope that these tips will serve you well and you will remember fondly this moment in time. Know that I believe in you and I can't wait to see what you do next. Congratulations. Thank you, Regent. We so appreciate you being here today and greetings on behalf of the board. I'd now like to call up our provost to begin the process. Well, before we begin the process of conferring degrees, I would like you to know that a professional photographer will take pictures of every graduate as he or she crosses the platform. Proofs will be sent to your home address. President Sean Rock, it is a pleasure to present candidates for doctorate, specialists, and master degrees from Emporia State University. 
Dr. Irma will introduce the candidates for graduate degrees. Good afternoon. Will the candidates for the Doctor of Philosophy degree please rise as, as you are able. President Sean Rock, these candidates have completed all of the academic requirements for the Doctor of Philosophy degree at Emporia State University. And upon recommendation of the graduate faculty and approval of the Board of Regents, I present them to you as duly qualified recipients of that degree and recommend you confer upon them the degree of Doctor of Philosophy. Thank you, Dean. By the authority vested in me in the state of Kansas and by its Board of Regents, upon the recommendation of the faculty of this university who prescribed the academic requirements, and as president of Emporia State University, I solemnly and publicly confer upon each of you the degree Doctor of Philosophy with all rights, privileges, and responsibilities appertaining thereto. Congratulations, doctors. Rhonda Wessel Atkinson. Lori L. Franklin. Will the candidate for the specialist in education degree please rise as you are able. President Sean Rock, these candidates have completed all of the academic requirements of the specialist in education degree at Emporia State University. And upon recommendation of the graduate faculty and approval of the Board of Regents, I present them to you as duly qualified recipients of that degree and recommend you confer upon them the specialist of education degree. Thank you, Dean. By the authority vested in me by the state of Kansas and its Board of Regents, upon the recommendation of the faculty of this university who prescribed the academic requirements, and as president of Emporia State University, I solemnly and publicly confer upon each of you the degree specialist in education with all rights, privileges, and responsibilities appertaining thereto. Congratulations. Will the candidates for the master's degrees please rise as you are able? That's all of you, all the masters. <laughs> <laughs> President Sean Rock, these candidates have completed all of the academic requirements for the master's degree at Emporia State University. 
and upon recommendation of the graduate faculty and approval of the Board of Regents, I present them to you as duly qualified recipients of the degree and recommend you confer upon them the master's degree. Thank you, Dean. By the authority vested in me, apparently still vested in me, <laughs> by the state of Kansas and its Board of Regents, upon the recommendation of the faculty of this university, who prescribed the academic requirements, and as president of Emporia State University, I solemnly and publicly confer upon each of you the master's degree appropriate to your curriculum with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities appertaining thereto. Congratulations. alphabetically in your program according to their respective degrees. Will the candidates for the degrees Master of Arts and Master of Science from the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences please come forward. Abby Lee Robinson. Charlotte N. Edmonston. Dolores Nesh Favard. Kelsey Partwari. Candidates for the degree Master of Business Administration, please come forward. CC Wong. Lin Lin. Chi Chu. Jason D. Rowland. Nicole M. Scala. Julia R. Wortman. Candidates for the degree Master of Education and Master of Science from the Teachers College, please come forward. <laughs> Abby J. Steinbrink. Haidar Ala Amin. <laughs> Sama Al Bukhari. <laughs> Mislat Asalbuki. Sam A. Alvidiami.
Mary Schroeder Anderson. Daniel Baldwin. June Cho. Shannon B. Dish. Lindsay N. Dowell. Marcy M. Fundus. Teresa E. Gay. <laughs> Megan Hansen. <laughs> Stephanie A. Parson. Jennifer Harmon. <laughs> Becky J. Inc. <laughs> Xiao Xiao Hu. Drew Kyle. <laughs> Ashley N. Lawson. <laughs> Rhonda J. Lefford. Scott Lero. <laughs> Michelle Meyer. <laughs> Krista M. Moore. Janella M. Newton. <laughs> Megan L. O'Brien. <laughs> Ashley D. Parker. Trisha M. Phillips. <laughs> Susana Prohaska. <laughs> Sarah Renier.
Tamara Shart. Gina Sheeby. Angie L. Schwann. <laughs> Petra K. Schaefer. <laughs> Sarah Nassar Sliman Harder. Noelle Sliba. Sarah R. Spleeko. Christine Stout. Katrina Unger. S. Danusha Wara Sather Beather Reina. Christopher C. Westfall. Valerie E. Bogert. <laughs> Amber Dale Bonnet. Brett W. Cedarholm. <laughs> Hope A. Arms. <laughs> Jason W. Hibbs. Crystal Hutchinson. Corey L. Johnson. Megan B. Coleman. Kristen I. Peterson. Aaron Seeger. Abigail K. Seemers. James W. Smith.
My congratulations to all of our graduates. Take the joy of today and keep it throughout your life. I now invite Mr. Tim Wright, Alumni Association Board of Directors, to come forward to offer his congratulations. Good afternoon. Today I welcome you as the newest members of the Emporia State University Alumni Association. This university played a major role in preparing you to meet the challenges of the future just as it did for me. On behalf of the nearly 61,000 alumni, congratulations on your individual accomplishments, and I challenge each of you to build support for ESU throughout the years. Be sure to turn in your info card on your pin so that we can keep track of where you are. Congratulations, <laughs> thank you. President Sean Rock now has some concluding remarks. I want you to know the undergraduate ceremony, we had 60,000 alum, now it's 61,000, we're making progress. <laughs> I wish to thank Dr. Gary Zeke and the Brass Ensemble, Dr. Dennis Bassett, and the entire commencement committee for their contribution to today's event. Let's give them a round of applause. Faculty, would you rise as you are able and face our graduates. Please join me in congratulating our graduates. Would everyone please stand? Emporia State's alma mater calls for us to give cheers to ESU. Before we sing our alma mater, I want to take this opportunity to give cheers to each and every one of you and everything that you have accomplished. Congratulations to each and every one of you. The best is yet to come, and the best is yet to come for Emporia State. Please continue to stand as we sing our alma mater. The words can be found in your program on the bottom of page three. Thanks.
This concludes the commencement ceremony. Please remain standing during the recessional until the platform party and faculty have exited, and then join us right outside in the rotunda for a reception and celebration.